study of information has many disciplines that use it, and it's all just exploding. Because I'm computer science in background, I have to learn biology. I can speak to medical doctors, and I can understand what they're talking about. I ended up asking my dad, how do I bring these two areas together? So he said, well, what about bioinformatics? Even before I had like the right vocabulary or even knew what I was doing in terms of the right tools, I was addressing certain kinds of problems that you might describe as like medical informatics type problems. There's so many more people in nursing and the library sciences and the public health. They're all using these tools. These systems are everywhere now. They're ubiquitous. People get really frustrated by them. There's got to be a better way. To improve human health, statistics is essential, and computer science is essential, and I think the field of biomedical informatics is essential to that process. Hey, I really like this informatics stuff. Can I do it as a PhD bench person? The field is very welcoming for anyone that comes from any background. We want that. What we can do computationally with not just the basic science side, but overall with machine learning and artificial intelligence and the capabilities we now have. I was just an undergrad taking courses in biology and computer science. I almost immediately was able to join this lab and apply both of those. It was really cool to be able to watch people actually use what I had spent hours building and then say, wow, this works really well. That really got me energized about the power of informatics. Biomedical informatics with all of its derivatives was really where I wanted to be. I wanted real world data to inform our interventions. I enjoyed every single moment of my graduate school. Doing research for a career, it's a privilege. The professors that I had, it was exciting to see people with this background be as excited about things like clinical decision support as I was. I was already excited to go to a PhD program. I get to do this for 100% of my time for the next however many years. The network and the connections and the multidisciplinary team members who are phenomenal and can help me answer questions. You can't do this as a hobby. It can't be a side gig. You gotta do it 100%. I got to know more and more people pursuing entrepreneurial paths as a way to translate the discoveries they'd made to patients more quickly. We'll actually have the opportunity to deploy our research into real-world applications. The great thing about biomedical informatics is it really gives you these tools that are immediately transferable to the real world. The most rewarding thing is when I'm in part of the team that makes a change that affects either our patients or the doctors I work with, and I hear, hey, it's easier for me to take care of my patients now. We can improve on this. We can do this in a smarter way. Apply what people in informatics are really good at, which is understanding health data. The cool thing about working in the medical informatics space is that the problems actually matter. This is the right time for biomedical informatics. We want to transform healthcare.